Dressed you guys as sweet sweets in a while, but that is indeed who you are here on my channel. That's what I call my my community here. You guys are my my girls, my guys, my friends, my my people. <laughs> I'm a lifestyle vlogger I'm here on YouTube uh, right now. Um, I am mostly caregiver content. Um, a little beauty, a little, not so much travel, but a little beauty content, a little fashion. That's what I do to keep my sanity. So, um, it's always going to be sprinkled here and there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, if you see the lighting is kind of weird, it's because we are having some funky, funky weather here in Southern California. Today, they have us on like a hurricane watch in Cali. <sighs> yeah, it's it's weird. So that's that's unheard of. Like they said, the first in like 80 years or something. So um, right now in my area, it's just a lot of rain. So mm, I don't know. Um, it doesn't look very hurricane-ish to me, um, but I've been saying it ain't gonna happen, but you know, that's what everybody says until it happens and then everybody's completely devastated. So, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get out of my little, my little comfort zone, you know, it's just staying in my, my little space and, and being comfortable and actually keep my eyes and ears open, you know? So anyway, um, let me show you my outfit. I'm on my way to church. I always start my vlogs off on my way to church. I'm a, I'm a pastor's wife. I'm a church girl through and through. I say that every week. Um, I'm a baldy but baddie. Y'all see that? I'm a mom. Um, I'm a stepmom. I'm a pastor's wife. I'm a retired hairstylist. Um, I'm a true creative. So I decorate. I... Uh, I'm just very, very, very creative. You know, that's been my, my bag since, um, since I can remember. So, um, let me show you my outfit for the day. We're casual through the, throughout the summer. So I'm wearing this, um, Balenciaga co cord. It's just, um, let me actually, let me lower the camera so you can see it better. Okay, so it's this Balenciaga cord. It's got um, the deep pockets and the pants are nice and long, um, very comfortable, button down, nothing special. You know, I'm rolling up my sleeves just a little bit, you know, just to give me some um, comfort. It's raining today, so I didn't want to have a whole lot of fuss. I have on my um, Gucci tennis shoes. These are, and I have on some, um, you know, some socks, tennis shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna carry my, um, I have a Prada backpack. That's my kids upstairs, don't mind them. Um, I'm just gonna carry this backpack. Nice and comfortable. And pretty much this is my outfit. No need for sunnies today because it's raining. So my outfit is very simple. You know? All right, I'm on my way to church. I almost forgot. Let me show you guys my makeup for today. My makeup, I have on Fenty MVP um, lip liquid lipstick, and it's lined with um, Vino by MAC. Um, a lot of people say that they have a problem with this MVP transferring or, or running. I don't. Um, now, like, if I, you know, touch it, it definitely is not like the, the average liquid lipstick that dries down and, um, you know, doesn't move. It moves, but I don't have a problem with it running. 
I don't know if that's because of the Vino lip liner or what, but yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Like I'm going to church and I'm gonna sing. After I sing, it'll be fine. I've done that several times. I wear it all the time. Um, so, oh, and my earrings, these are from Zara. These are super cute. I wore them last week too. So, <laughs> um, I don't have on any foundation, but I do have on Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Chestnut under my eye, around my lips, and around my nose area. And I just put it on there, let it almost dry down, and then I just blend it in. And then I have a Mocha Mommy um, right under my cheekbone. And I didn't put any blush on today. Um, under my eyes, I have on Soft Brown by Makeup by Mario, the, the, the pencil, and then I just smudged it out. And then I have on the Lily Lashes. Um, I'm gonna put on the screen the style because I don't know. Um, it's a new style, a well, new, new box for me. And these are the full ones. So they're heavy. And then that's it on my makeup. Um, is that it? Yeah, that's all I put on today. My hair toner is Igora Royal High Lifts in the color 1012. And then I, that's, I bleached it up as, um, I actually left my bleach on for like 40 minutes and then I put the 1012 on top of it for about 15. So that's my look for today just in case you're interested so i'm waiting for the girls to come out of the groceries or actually walmart they went in there to get some flowers we're going to the um we're gonna go to the hospital real quick to see um one of the residents that lives in the facility with my mom my mom has if you guys don't watch or haven't watched before my mom has dementia and um, one of the residents that lives there with her, I'm trying to watch for the girls. Um, she likely, I think she had a stroke over the weekend. And so she's um, in the hospital. We're gonna go and see her real quick. But, um, I want to take her some flowers because when I took, I, I had taken my mom some flowers one time and when she, when I walked in, she was like, give me those flowers. And I gave them to her. I was like, okay. And she said, for real, you gonna give me the flowers? And I'm like, yeah. And she said, oh, really? <laughs> you know, like that. And I'm like, yeah, you can have the flowers. And so. She said, oh my, I don't have a vase. I said, it's okay, I got a vase for you. I got a vase in my mom's room you can have. And so she was like, um, oh my gosh, she hopped up on her walker real quick. And she was so excited that I gave her the flowers. So um, I'm gonna take her some flowers today too. Where are they? But everybody talks about this Fenty um, MVP running. They keep talk, talking about how it runs. This is me after church. I sang. Um, I did see some on the mic, but it's not running down my face. Like, yeah, it lasts. It lasts real good. And you guys, so it rained a little bit during church. You know, it rained outside. It wasn't. It wasn't anything heavy. We are now probably about 35 miles away from my house. It's not raining at all out here. It's windy. It's 81 degrees out here. Um, it's windy and it's kind of warm. Like, yes, yeah, I don't know. The weather's kind of weird, but it's not. Um, I don't know if that's how hurricane <laughs> weather feels like. The calm before a storm or something like that but <sighs> after we do this we're gonna go home and we'll just be home I'm gonna go home Morgan's gonna make some salmon I'm probably gonna ground some ground up some turkey in case we want to have some make some tacos or something I'm probably gonna make a meatloaf too just so we can have something for sandwiches 
Um, that was what I planned to do. So I'll do those two things and um, call it an a evening. And I'm just going to watch some TV just in case. Um, I'm going to do those things just in case we need to have food ready. Um, and about where are they? Come on, guys. They have been in there a cool 20 to 25 minutes. I mean, do I need to go in there after them or what? pink ones without the sensor. Let me see the pink ones. The pink ones I think are my favorite. <laughs> Left out of South Coast Plaza, fully intending <laughs> to find something to wear this weekend. I got a a conference to go to and a baby shower, and I was fully intending to find an outfit to wear. And um, I don't know what's going on. I can't find anything. I can't find anything. Any clothes that are um, jumping out at me these days like I mean I saw stuff but it was just like stuff you know nothing that was just like oh I gotta have that <laughs> you know what I mean um, Zara had a few pieces um, but I don't know Nothing tickled my fancy. I bought my mom some body cream. <laughs> um, and it's some flower bomb. <clears throat> body cream. It smells good. It's on my arm. I went to go get myself some more La Tulipe body cream by Barreto. Here they go. Not having that. They didn't have that one now. <laughs> You know, I haven't been able to get the um, Byredo, so I got the La Tulipe the last time, and now they're out of that one. I'm like, oh my gosh, Byredo is killing me. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go take my mom her body cream, and then I'm going to give her that bottle of Angel that I have that I didn't like for me. Um, I'm sure it'll smell lovely on her. <coughs> Ooh, that cookie, I shouldn't have ate that cookie. It's not going down. Woo! I'm just struggling. I'm struggling today. Yeah, I'm going to go check on Mama. <clears throat> I was trying to wait. Watch out, people. Put your kids on the inside. You're supposed to walk on the outside and put your kids on the inside of the aisle. 
just in case I hit one of y'all. You supposed to get hit, not your kids. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway. Oh, I was trying to wait for the outfit to come so I could take, I ordered her some outfits. And they're supposed to be delivered today, but I guess I'll take them tomorrow. Anyway. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling. Right. We're so glad that we were able to come and sing for you guys and keep you up. Yeah. Yes. Past your bedtime. <laughs> we're happy that you guys, did you guys enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> So we'll have to do it again. We'll come back another time and say, "Big Daddy." One more. day to get a gift and I didn't get it I forgot actually <laughs> I was thrown off fold off um, <clears throat> I started looking at those glasses and I don't know I might get y'all gonna let me over I might get those today I don't know I haven't been able to get them off my mind but I might get those today um, but yeah so I'm gonna go get a gift for the baby shower that I'm going to tomorrow. I have to go to a conference and a baby shower tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna get a little boy gift. And um, I saw this jumpsuit <laughs> the other day that I may wear. I have something to wear tomorrow, but I think it might be a little too much, like a little too dressy. I think I wanna be a little more casual for the occasion tomorrow, so, <gasps> excuse me. I think I'm gonna get this this jumpsuit. It might be like Free People or Open Edit or something like that. Um, I saw it at Nordstrom. These lanes always confuse me. I wanna get over here. Let me over. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this if they have my size. I'm gonna get this this jumpsuit. If they don't, then I'm gonna be super dressed up <laughs> tomorrow for the event <clears throat> for the conference. And I think it's probably gonna be a little bit more laid at laid back. The the jumper that I saw, it's like a one piece, and it's more comfortable you know what I'm saying it's um, like maybe drop crotch 
comfortable, loose, baggy, more my vibe, you know. It's not fitted at all. I don't have to worry about, you know, undergarments and all that kind of stuff. So, that's more my vibe. After I leave here, then I'm going to go by and um, check on my mom. See if I... They, they actually called me and said that they found my mom. So, she's been doing this thing. This is not the first time they've called me. She's They said she's been like... Like, she'll get on the floor. They'll go in her room to check on her in the middle of the night. And they'll find her on the floor. Now, it's not like she fell or anything like that. They'll find her on the floor with her covers and her pillow and everything. So, I think it's like she's getting on the floor. Um, I don't know why or if she's sliding out of the bed or if she's just getting on the floor. And sleeping on the floor. I don't know what that that's all about. She's not hurt um, or anything like that. And, and it's like I said, it's not the first time it's happened. So they they'll call me when they find her like that. And it's like one or two o'clock in the morning when they do it, and they'll they'll just assist her back into the bed, and then that'll be that. But um, I'm gonna go up there and check on her, and I like to assess her myself when that happens um but yeah i just want to check her out um and then i'm gonna go home i got up this morning and i i cleaned the living room and um I cleaned the living room, I vacuumed out the couch, um, for breeze the couch down and all that good stuff. Um, I didn't clean the kitchen, so I may do all that stuff when I get back home, but yeah, I'm just gonna relax the rest of the day once I get back home. <sighs> because tomorrow will be more activity then <laughs> than I than I, you know, than normal. I probably won't get to go see my mom tomorrow, so. Somebody will go up there. Maybe Kathy will go tomorrow. But, now, the mall. romper for me. <laughs> I got two rompers for the baby and uh, I always like rompers. I don't know for babies. I, I always like that for my kids because I don't like when you pick up babies and um, you mess up their clothes. Look who I found up here. Oh. <laughs> like what's she doing? <laughs> I'll go down there to see you. <laughs> Digestion and GERD or whatever this is called, it's not playing with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is what I get for eating the wrong stuff. I ate some onion rings, so I'm trying to fatten my mom up. <laughs> 
And so I know she doesn't eat a lot, but she used to love uh, um, Carl's Jr. Western bacon cheeseburger. So I bought her a burger. I ate the onion rings or just the bread from the onion rings. It's my, my fault, it's my fault, I know. I can hear you guys saying, what? I can hear all that. So I ate the bread from the onion rings. I don't like the onions. I just broke it apart and this just been something I've always done. I hate onions. Um, and then I gave her the shake. I actually bought, they don't make shakes. They said they don't do shakes. So they made me buy a small, I got the shake with the combo. Bought the shake with the combo and they made me buy a small root beer, no ice. And then I just poured some of the root beer into the shake in order to get her a root beer float. So I'm trying to get some, some weight on her because she's getting so skinny. But, um, yeah, the onion rings, mm -mm. and I only ate like three or four of them. Nonetheless, got my shoes, y'all. Went by Tory Burch, and they had the shoes. They had them in my size. I got a size 10, and ta-da! Oh. Ta-da! <laughs> no. Ta-da! I got them! They're so cute! So, um, my foot hangs over this right one just at the tip. Like, it doesn't hang over, it's just right at the end. But, I had everybody in the store looking at them. I was like, does my foot look like, look like it's hanging over? It's just my my heel is fat. And so, you know, of course, all the Caucasian people were like, oh, no, it looks good. But um, it was some black people in there, and they were like, no, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, sis, but it's good. It's good. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, um I had them, you know, I put it on my phone. <laughs> I was walking on my phone looking at it, you know, recording and stuff. And so, anyway, I went with it. These are the size 10. They were good. I got them. Um, I'm good with them. I'm happy, actually. So, the heel height is everything. It's great. <sighs> I love these shoes. I love them. I don't know when I'm going to wear them, but I'm sure I'll get plenty of wear out of these. Now, I don't know if I'm going to break down and get that bag, but the shoes, I got them. Tory Burch. I was talking about these in my last vlog. Got them. Um, I did get a gift for the baby shower, but I can't open it to show you guys. Cause I'm gonna mess up the little wrap and I'm gonna see if I um, can find what I bought online and show you pop up a picture or two, but it's two little rompers. I think I was saying it in the mall, but I like, when my kids were small, especially my son, um, I liked to put him in one pieces. So you know, when you pick up your kids, you'd be like, hey, hey, little, you pick them up. And you mess up their clothes, like if especially if it's a two-piece, you pull up the little piece like that, and you know, you mess up their clothes, they're all bunched up and stuff. I didn't like that. I like for my kids to be put together, you know? So <laughs> I like the one pieces because it keeps them nice and neat and you ain't messing up their clothes. So that's why I got two onesies or one piece outfits, rompers, if you will. And then I got myself also a romper. And this is by, I was saying open edit or free people earlier. Who is this by? Are there any glasses in here? Yes. Who are these people? Who is this? Free people. Yep. I was like. This is free people. Um, 
there's a belt somewhere in the bag. A little skinny belt where you can kind of cinch this in. Has a it's a real skinny belt. I would never wear it, but um yeah, so it's a kind of denim colored romper. Um this is in a size medium. They didn't it only had medium. That's why I got medium. I wish there was a large but uh, has a pleat in the back. I'm gonna hang this up and see how the wrinkles fall out of it. Has a cuff at the bottom. It's long <clears throat> all the way down to the ankle. Two pockets on the front, two pockets on the back. Um, like I said, that pleat down the back, um, it buttons in the front here. I think all the way up. Oh no, kind of in a V. Buttons in a V. But yeah, I thought this would be a super cute little casual romper. And I would probably wear my essential hat with it. That's how I was thinking about styling this. Let me show you. Okay, I brought some shoes out, but I'm not quite sure about the shoe choice. And I'm not even sure about this outfit just yet because um, I just don't, I don't know if it's dressy or if it's casual. So I just have to decide whether I want to be dressy or if I want to be casual, you know? Um, of course, I want to be casual, but I just got to figure it out what I'm doing, where I'm, how, how I'm going, you know? Um, but I thought about these Jeffrey Campbell, oh no, these are Bessie Johnson shoes that I have. Think about these down at the bottom with my essential hat. Uh, and kind of a funky fly bag. I have to think about the bag choice. Hmm. Probably something colorful. Something that will pop is what I'm thinking. And hmm. A funky earring. Or maybe. Ooh. Would be these earrings, something like that, is what I'm thinking. This is in my mind. Um, I think these ear these shoes might be the wrong blue, and this might take it. I think that color because I mean, those shoes because they have more color in them. I think this might mute it down a little bit. Mm. So I gotta play with play with my accessory if I do this outfit. Okay, this is the outfit that I got when I went to um, Vegas for um, this is gonna be for a speaking gate speaking engagement that I was doing that ended up being it's I'm still doing it. It's just gonna be virtual, um, so I definitely won't need to. be all, you know, done up, even if I wore it, you know, it would just be up top, so. How does this go? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> So, I think I wouldn't wear the belt on here. I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't. I would wear this just like a shirt. So let me take this belt off. 
I don't like that little cinched in look for me. I'm not hourglass enough for that look. I love no other people. It's just not for me. Okay, um... So, I guess I should have tried the other one if I'm trying this one on for y'all, huh? Let me put you right here and lower this so you can actually see the outfit. This is the back of the front. Oh. Wait a minute. Bless you. Y'all ain't heard of the dog in a while, but he's out there. Can y'all hear? Okay, I don't have my, my bra high and lifted up and stuff. So, actually, I don't have a bra on. Whew. But, this will be the outfit. With my bra on, lift it up, and and some heels. Um, accessorized, of course. <sighs> it really makes a difference with the bra. Let me. Situate the girls a little bit. Um, geez. And some makeup and, you know. So this would be the outfit dressed up. Indigestion. Which I think this is definitely a little hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's um a little bit more cumbersome. A little bit more. And then remember, I have two events to go to. I got, this is more itchy on my arms too. Cause that's sequence on the inside. It has a lining, has like, the, the lining is like shorts. And then the lining on the, on the top is just up to here. So everything else is itching. So we have that. That's why I'm leaning more towards the casual look for for this. <clears throat> and I don't think it's gonna be all that. Um, what else would I have to wear? Let me think about it. Let me think about if I have something else to wear. Good morning. Saturday. On my way to the conference and then I'm going to the baby shower. Long day ahead. I'm already tired. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Mark had to go to a funeral. He was like, Ooh, why am I tired already? 
But um, he actually had a banquet to go to last night. I really felt bad that I didn't go with him. But um, I knew I had a longer day today. And um, I had been, you know, I just been doing a lot. So I knew I needed to pace myself um, before today and then tomorrow. We got an extra service tomorrow too. So, you know. I'm getting old and I know my myself. So I got an extra service and then I have also, um, I have a live that I'm doing tomorrow, which um, you guys should plan on um, watching. Um, I'll talk more about it in a minute, but you guys will see more about it because you guys should be able to watch it. It should be, I'll talk more about it at the end of the vlog so you guys can tune in because it should be time to watch it at the end of the vlog. Anyway, um, let me show you my outfit for today. Let me talk about my makeup first. Today's makeup is just a little bit different. Um, of course, my face makeup is the same. Why do I always get on here sweating? <laughs> um... Let me see if there's any air outside. I'm right in front of the door. Probably not. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, I had to get this fan. <laughs> Cause you know, this is just ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna turn it off, I'm gonna turn it off. <sighs> turn the air on, get the fan, all the things. Cause I just can't be on here sweating like this. <laughs> All right, um, only thing I did different, of course my face um, is the same thing in case this is your first time. I only put on my face. I don't wear a foundation right now just because it's hot and I'm 53 and just, you know, I was just showed you I sweat a lot, you know. Not a lot, but more than I want to and to have, you know, but I only be wiping my face and wiping makeup off and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I just put Too Faced Born This Way concealer under my eyes, um, above my eyelids. I tend just where I get dark. So, above my eyelids, right in the corner here, around my nose, and around my lips, on the outsides of my lips is where I put the concealer. I let it dry, basically dry almost down, not all the way, but mostly down, and then I blot um, and um, blend so that, um, you know, I blend it all the way in. And then I go back in with um, powder. I use Laura Mercier or, I use mostly Laura Mercier, um, I think it's deep. I'll put it on the screen, the name of the powder that I use. But it's a, um, a deep, you know, setting powder. And I blot that in and just blend it out really good. I don't put a lot of powder on my face. Um, but that's what I use as a base. I don't, again, put foundation just because, like, I don't put anything on the outside of my face. Only thing I put on the outside of my face is bronzer. I use Mocha Mommy by Fenty Beauty. And that's, so that's right here on my cheeks and you see I'm touching my face so it's not much at all. Um, I put a little blush on. Uh, so there's nothing up here at all. Nothing on the outside of my face or underneath or anything like that. Um, I don't like for that to touch my clothes which wouldn't be a problem today because this is nice and low. Um, I just like to keep all that I like to keep it free because I don't like makeup on my clothes. I don't like my stuff to look. In my opinion, makeup rubbing your clothes and stuff looks cheap. Now they have remedies where you can spray. I think I saw them using that got to be spray. Um, they spray, I, I, I saw a hack where they use spray to spray your clothes to keep makeup from transferring to your clothes. So that's a hack. If you wear makeup and you don't want to transfer to transfer to your clothes, you can do stuff like that um, to keep it, but to keep it off your clothes. But try to keep it off your clothes because you know it just looks. It takes you down a notch, in my opinion. If it don't bother you, it don't bother you. That's just my opinion. 
you know. Um, so today, what I did do different, and I have been doing this different for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm finding that like black eyeliner and stuff is looking a little bit harsh on me. I'm not really feeling in my eyebrows. I'm not, um, I, I think it's that the older I get, all that, or maybe it's my hair color, I don't know, but all that black on my face is starting to look a little bit harsh for me. So, um, I'm gravitating more towards like soft brown, deep brown, soft browns. Um, I'm liking how that's looking. Not saying that I won't ever use black, but I'm finding that I like black. I mean, I'm liking browns right now. So, I used Makeup by Mario has a soft brown. Now, I've been looking for the black pencil because I do like the, the consistency of the black pencil. So, if I find it, I'm still going to buy it. But because they were out of it i tried the brown and i'm in love with the brown now so the soft brown is what it's called from makeup makeup by mario um has the same consistency um it's very smooth and then it has on the opposite end it has a brush like a smudging brush that you can smudge it out with and um i took that under my uh, uh, in my waterline and under my waterline and then I also went back in with um, uh, Melt Cosmetics Rot and I set that a little bit to just smudge it out just a little bit more under my eye and it gives me more of a um, 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 it, it, it gives me just a smudged out look but it's not as harsh because it's not black. And then I have on a black lash and it's the heavy lash, it's the Lily Lash um, in the style a la, Moana, a la Moana. But then I went over the top of that with the Rot by Melt, um, Melt Cosmetics and I just kind of went over the top of the lash band with that rock color, with a brown color to kind of soften it to make it not so harsh. <sighs> because the Lily Lashes have a kind of a thick band, so. Um, and I did use black uh, lash glue as well, so I did go back over it with the brown to kind of soften it. And then also, keeping with the brown theme, I went in with, now I've been wearing this Fenty MVP but I also added um, the Fenty Breadwinner as a lip liner around the out, outer rim of my lip. So instead of using a red liner, which I've been using the, the Fenty MVP, I'm sorry, the, the MAC Vino liner with my Fenty MVP, this time I used the Breadwinner um, liquid lipstick as a liner. And um, that breadwinner on first, on the outer rim of my lip, and in the corners I went in a little bit heavier, and I went over the top with the Fenty MVP. So, that's this face combination today. I don't know where this came from. I think I ordered it on Amazon, and if I can find it again, I'll link it. These are from Zara. Um, this is a dupe of the Van Cleef and Ar Arpels uh, Clover necklace, and this is from Etsy. Um, on this arm, I have a little bit of brown, so I pulled in my LV cuff with these Dior. I always wear these, the Dior um, bangles. And then on this arm, my Fendi watch bangle and my Van Cleef and Arpels dupe from Etsy. All right, for my outfit. Today I opted for this romper jumper from 
free people. I got this at Nordstrom. Um, very comfortable. I'm not sure how dressy this event is, but I chose to look casual. Um, you know, I'm not on program, I'm just attending the thing. <laughs> uh, but it's nice and long. Got a one pocket on the back. Um, I got these shoes. These shoes are from Jeffrey Campbell. I got them in Nordstrom actually last year. Uh, nice and low heel. Uh, they are a bit noisy. So, you know, hey, got pockets on the front. I'm going to be nice and comfortable, but it is very cute. And then I'm going to put on my essential hat today. Um, and let me see what shades did I put in here. Oh, I put my, my nude. Christian Dior, are these Christian Dior? Got these on for the day. And my fan, let me get my fan. I don't wanna leave that. Got my Bottega, my green Bottega bag. Um, I thought about getting a gold one, but I'm like, let's just go with the green, you know. A little interest. You know, all oh, it's not really matchy matchy, but so this is my vibe for today. So, baby shower after the conference, and I'm out. up pretty good but I didn't even, even really do a whole lot today but I'm tired I mean I'm tired all of my body um my back is not it's not feeling real good I don't know I don't know why I don't know why I'm not um Maybe I need 
need to take something from my back because I haven't really, really taken any anything to help it. Um, lately, normally, like I'll take a a pain pill of some sort when it's bothering me. Um, you know, I'll take something, but I haven't really taken anything. I've just been thugging it out. And, um, I haven't, so. Maybe I'll do that after my shower tonight. I'll take something. So the little bit of makeup that I wear, it's pretty easy to get off, um, with two of these makeup wipes. So I normally, this is normally how I take it off. I, you know, use one. I pretty much got most of it off with um, this first one. Then I'm gonna go back in with the second one. for another, you know, and then I'll do the rest in the shower. I haven't really used that melt off yes, yet, the um, melt off from, I bought that from Fenty Beauty. I haven't used that yet to see how it works. Um, just because these work so, so well. And I figure I might as well use the rest of this pack before I start with that. Because I'll use that with those clean wipes. Use up this stuff, you know. I'll be buying stuff and then have these sitting in the drawer getting old and don't use them. Let them dry out, dry rot. Is that such a thing when they really dry rot? They might. Go to use them and they try as toilet paper. And then I can't use them. So I'm gonna use these first. Okay. So I'm gonna take these earrings off, take my shower, wash my face, exfoliate. I haven't done that. Have I done that this week? I don't think I've exfoliated my skin this week so i'm going to exfoliate while i'm in the shower and then i'll come back and talk to you guys afterwards i met some ladies today that i promised i would show them um i would show them how to put on lashes and so I'm definitely gonna have to close this video out tonight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to close this. I'm gonna close this one out tonight. But in next week's video, the lashes will definitely be in that video. And then also, I had another lady that asked me about perfume. And she asked me if I would suggest some perfumes for her. The perfume that I was spraying, I think, when she um, was asking me, I think I was putting on Aquamedia. Um, this is MFK Aquamedia. This one is very, very different. It's different than anything that I have up here. Um, it's very green, very mossy, very... Um, mm, I want to say when I first smelled it, I walked away from it several times. But then, like, as I let it live on my skin, it was growing on me. Like, I first smelled lemons, and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> but then it kept, it, it got sweeter, and then I was thinking, oh, maybe I can mix it with something. Um, and then I would spray it. I mixed it with Baccarat one time, Baccarat. 540 which I don't have in my collection 
I mixed it with that in the store and then that made me think that I can mix it with something sweet and then I would like it. And then I sprayed it on its own and then I was getting a lot of compliments on it and I ended up liking it by itself. So then I just made the purchase of the small bottle. But yeah, this MFK Aquamedia has some very green and mossy notes, which definitely doesn't sound enticing, but it's good. Um, it can be everything that I have right now, I'm saying <laughs> I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I would suggest these for you just because they're on more of the higher end um as far as price point i could i could find let me let me locate some or uh, uh, let me find some some lower price pointed fragrances tom ford has some um some good ones i i was in love with this soleil de fou when i first got it and don't get me wrong, it does smell, still smell scrumptious, scrum diddly umptious, <laughs> as some would say. Um, but I don't reach for it a lot. This is my all time favorite, this Soy Blanc by Tom Ford. This smells amazing at all times. At all times, it smells good. But some people say that it goes old lady on them. Um, Tom Ford is just gonna always give me hands down hence how many bottles I have up here this tobacco vanilla these are like more of wintertime fragrances um this one this one this is um Montel Paris patchouli leaves you can probably find this one online this is not expensive at all um Montel Paris look in that collection you could find a lot of different fragrances in Montel Paris that that um, are not super expensive. So start there. Look, start there. I think it was Jade. Jade. Um, look, start at Montel Paris. This patchouli leaves was on sale for a while, actually for like seventy bucks or so. I don't think it's, it's still there, but I don't know. You can look. Try. Um, yeah, everything else is gonna be at a higher price point but this is a good one if you want to splurge a little this Te Noir um, 29 this is a good one to have in your collection as a base fragrance I use this one a lot and I get tons of compliments I mix this one with a lot of different fragrances and I also mix this one is the MFK fragrance and this is um, Gentle Fluidity. Mm. Mm. I'm going to put some on now. <laughs> I just took my shower. Mm, where's the hole? Oh. I'm going to put some of this on so I can smell it tonight. Woo, y'all. This, I, I love all my fragrances. Everything I have up here, I love, love, love. But mess around and put this on with that. I mean, it's like atomic. <laughs> All right, yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my my face routine. I'm gonna put my fresh uh, rose water on. You guys have seen this. If you watch me, you've seen me do this a lot. Um, this is toner. Oh gosh. I've had a day so this feels really, really good on my skin. I did wash. I used my um, Belief Jelly Cleanser. And I used Ole Henriksen's. Um, is that by Ole Henriksen? Who is that by? Yeah, Ole Henriksen's Lemonade Scrub. Use that in the shower, and I like to use that. I, I like to use any scrub 
in shower that way I can rinse it all the way off all the little crystals and beads and stuff can come all the way off rinse that all the way down um then I'm going to what am I gonna put on my face tonight um I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go for my belief true cream aqua bomb I don't know, this is my holy grail. I love this stuff. Hydration. I believe in hydrating my skin. It's amazing. Especially at night. At night I like to really saturate. Then, Ola Henriksen, Banana Bright. Under my eyes. Gently, guys. I'm tight. I'm tight. Gotta be careful with them. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Dream Mask Super Berry Hydrate um, Plus Glow Dream Mask by Youth to the People. Ola Herricks and Cucumber um, Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. Um, I don't use these too often, so I thought I better use them before they dry out. But I'm just going to put these on and chill out for a little while. And a little Laneige Lip Mask. Overnight Lip Mask. Feels good. Oops. I forgot to put the cover back over my mask. So they don't dry out. Alright. So that's it for this one. I'm getting ready to go edit this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, let me know what you liked about this video. See y'all.
Oh, and look on all my social media platforms to get the information about my live. Um, it should be coming on at 6 o'clock my time. I don't know about all the Eastern Pacific standards, all the, the times and stuff, but it's 6 o'clock my time. <laughs> Cali time. That's what it is. All right.